I, I took a real long break from social media last year uh, on my personal. Like, I think I took like, I don't know, six months or something like that. And it wasn't even on purpose. I just stopped. Yeah. And I don't even know why. Like, I just stopped. One day I just, it was like, like it was as if it, like, I was smoking cigarettes forever. And I, one day I was just like, I don't want a cigarette ever again. Yeah. And so then I stopped doing it for a while. And then I think like eight months later, I was like, okay, well, I'm not posting anymore. What if I try this? And so I started doing this thing called stress self-portraits where I would only post a self-portrait because self-portraits are super important to me because I don't, I don't really like, um, I don't look at myself a lot. And so, and it's like out of uh, just self-consciousness and, and the whole myriad of stuff. When, like, when, when you do a self-portrait, you put a mirror in front of yourself and you draw yourself? No, 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 no. no. But like, work? I'll take like my hair color, and my eye color, and like maybe like a face structure thing or whatever, and I'll try to incorporate that into it. But then it's more so just about like how I'm feeling. And so I'll like, I just do that stuff just so that way you can tell it's a self-portrait. But the whole idea with the stress self-portraits was I would draw whatever was stressing me the hell out that week and what was making my life hell. And so like, I would di I did one, like I started working out a year ago because my therapist kept telling me to and I was like okay I guess there's some power to that and I fucking hate it I hate going to the gym it's <laughs> like every time I go there I'm, I look I, like I, I'll, I'll walk on the on the treadmill and I'm just like when is this gonna get fun man like it's never fun <laughs> and so like the, st the stress self portrait was all about that it was like it was making fun of the fact that like I hated it but it was necessary. And so I did that one. I'm trying to think of other ones too, but it was all about the idea of like, we don't show what stresses us out. We just show like the good parts or whatever. And so I did that for a while. That got me back into drawing because I was going through a really big creative rut. And then um, it seems like every year around springtime and uh, wintertime, I go through these really, really huge creative ruts where I just, I, I'm, I get seasonal depression really bad. And so when the sunlight goes away or when the sunlight changes, I, I get really, really down. Yeah. And so it took me a long time to figure that out. But when I finally figured that out, I would try to start doing things that kind of like spur the creativity. So last year was the stress self portraits, which actually turned into like some designs I actually used for the brand, which was super cool. And then uh, this year was I started doing like live streams on Instagram. And so that helped me to like, okay, I know I have to be held accountable because if I'm telling people I'm going to do them every Sunday, then I know I have to because, well, I mean, there's really no dire straits or anything like that, but it's yeah, just like, yeah. I don't want to disappoint people and I want people to come in and have a good time and like create a fun chill environment on a Sunday night or whatever right right and so every year I try to like combat because I, I know it's coming I know like it's delayed this year like I know it's coming <laughs> it's November right now so I know it's coming soon and so I'm like always trying to just be proactive about it because I know how dark my mind can get and I just always try to combat it with something and for me art therapy is like the is the only thing that works that I found and so I really try to just focus on that essentially and it's so I mean you guys probably know this too. Like when you have a dry spell in your business or when you have a dry spell in, in, in your field, like it really fucks with you. And so if I'm not doing a mural or something like that, or if I haven't done a mural in six months, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with me? How come no one wants my artwork? How, you know, all this stuff. No, and then I, I start that. getting down about it. And like, it's not an easy thing to talk about. It's not an easy thing to like confess or whatever, but I think it's important to, to be honest about it because I think a lot of people... I think a lot of creative types try to act like they never feel these things and they're always Every, hustling. Bro. Everything's always good. It's I'm so always the opposite. Money. It's so the opposite. Right? Though, man. Yeah.